And two trading sessions are left for 2013, including the half-day session on New Year's Eve. Meanwhile, in the Forex markets, the Singapore dollar was flat today in thin trade. The Singapore dollar has lost some 3.5% against the US dollar this year. Now, Singapore is the largest IPO market across Southeast Asia this year, raising more than 5 billion US dollars, or 6.2 billion Sing so far. Now, analysts say they expect to see a healthy pipeline of business trusts and REITs listings here in 2014. Listing activity in other Southeast Asian markets, such as Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand, is also expected to pick up in the second half of next year. Channel News Asia's Yvonne Chan reports. Listings of real estate investment trusts, or REITs, and business trusts continue to take center stage in Singapore in 2013. For the likes of Asian Pay TV and the Maple Tree Greater China Commercial Trust, each raising over a billion Singapore dollars in their debut. While the Singapore Exchange is a favorite destination for business trusts and REITs, analysts say it's important that potential new listings offer better valuations or risk upcoming headwinds. The Singapore IPO market might be affected a bit more than others because of its uh, greater exposure to these, this particular sector, REITs and business trusts, which tend to be affected a bit more, especially when interest rates are going up. Analysts also expect to see more businesses coming into list through reverse takeovers or RTOs. SGX have beefed up the quantitative criteria for main board listings, so a lot of uh, main board companies which are currently not doing well, they will be attractive candidates uh, to businesses that want to lease but may not necessarily want to comply with the new listing criteria. RTOs are a popular structure now uh, because uh, you can do it in stages. You can take control first um, and continue the existing business and slowly inject new businesses over a period of time. Analysts are expecting more Chinese companies to list here in 2014 since a direct listing platform has been established between the Singapore Exchange and China. Also, with the China Securities Regulatory Commission reviewing applicants for their proposed listing on the Singapore market, experts say this augurs well for corporate governance. Apart from China, the SGX also signed a MOU with the Hong Kong Exchange to collaborate on new technology and yuan-denominated product development. Experts say this tie-up will be mutually beneficial for investors and is unlikely to jeopardize each other's business. Um, the Singapore market offers a certain diversity in terms of market exposure, right? So if you are a uh, China company with you know, a lot of focus on just China, then Hong Kong is a very natural place. Uh, but if you are a Chinese company looking to become more international, then Singapore may be a, a potential IPO market. You know? For, for you to list. Observers say the SGX could also look into establishing its niche in Myanmar in order to capture potential business there. Yvonne Chan, Channel News Asia, Singapore.